Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. I've been kind of wrestling with something um, and I'd like to present it to you and see what you think. Um, that's right, I mean, don't worry. It's still story time with Mr. Michael. We're still here at the library, but uh, like I said, I've been, I've been kind of struggling with this thing. I'm trying to figure out what happens when you take two of your favorite things in the world and you smash them up together. You know, like I was thinking, one of my favorite things in the world, some of you know this, is animals, and particularly bats. I love bats. And, you know, thinking of bats makes me think of one of my other favorite things in the world, which is baseball. So, what do you think would happen if we took two of those things, those two things, and just collided them together like, you know, the Large Haldron Collider, like we sent both particles spinning at each other at velocities unheard of? What would happen? Well, you know what? I think we're about to find out because Mr. Brian Lees has written Bats at the Ball Game and we're going to read it. So yeah, that was a long story to get set up. Um, but now we're going to get to read the results of our fabulous experiment at the Large Haldron Collider that we did together. Shall we? Uh, Bats at the Ball Game by Brian Lees. Dusk creeps in and day is done. The last few rays of stubborn sun cling to hilltop, tree, and town. We wish that we could push it down. Restless wings begin to itch. Excitement's at a fever pitch. At last it's time, and with a sigh, we hustle out to Diamond Sky. Hurry up! Come one, come all! We're off to watch the bats play ball. How could any bat forget? In all the countless years we've met, it seems the team we'll play tonight has beaten us in every fight. We wing from dark to dazzling bright, startled by the stunning sight of colors like we've never seen, the brown so brown, the green so green. A flying vendor flutters near. Moth dogs, get your moth dogs here. Raise a wing and catch a snack. Perhaps you'll like some cricket, Jack. We show our tickets, find our places, watch the grounds crew lay the bases. They roll the foul lines, rake the mound, shape the field, and smooth the ground. Sudden silence. Then a cheer. Hooray! The baseball bats are here! A bat star sings our anthem song. With wing on heart, we sing along. And when she's done, the umpires call, welcome fans, and now, play ball! Something changes with those words. We feel a magic shift and ride the currents of the game as time is set adrift. At first, we're full of reckless joy. Their batters strike out fast. But when our batters strike out too, our laughter doesn't last. Our players muddle through the game from innings two through five when nothing chalked up with the sixth. 
they haven't come alive. But in the seventh, signs of life. Too bad it's not our team. Their fearless flyer cruises home and tramples on our dream. <sighs> We find a golden moment in the middle of it all. The batter swings, it's going foul. We reach and catch the ball. Get it going, throw a strike. We flap and howl and frown. The seventh inning stretch arrives at last to cool us down. We shake our feet and raise our wings in voices high and strong. Together, all the fans belt out that famous bat ball song. And here, it's the song is written here. Oh, hang me up in the rafters, hang me up by the toes. Buy me some bee nuts and cricket jack, won't you have? And then it, it trails off. There you go. And then back at bat, our batters swing, but can't gain any ground. There doesn't seem to be a way to turn this game around. Grand bats talk of better times, of fields and heroes past. Through the years, their thoughts slide homeward across eternal grass. Then, crack, the echo rockets round and yanks us to today. The bat at bat has smashed the ball, its cover torn away. Our flyer swoops from base to base, and if he scores, we're tied. And now the play is at the plate, and now the bats collide! <gasps> so, was the flyer safe? Or did the catcher have the ball? When the sus dust has settled down, the umpire makes the call. Out! The crowd erupts and hollers. No, you lost your mind. Can't you see that bat was safe? Find the ump. He's blind. And now the pressure's really on. It's here, our final out. It's two bats down and one on first, and fans are full of doubt. He swings, connects, and bloops to left, and there the flyers go. The fielder dives to stop the ball and gets back up to throw. The plays to second. There it goes. It hits that pesky pole. It ricochets to center field and bouncing finds a hole. Our flyers streak around the field. The crowd lets out a roar. The throw to home is not in time and both 
our Flyers score! That's it. We won! Can you believe? Now nothing can erase the thrill that thunders in our, thunders in our hearts, the grin on every face. But in the east, the skies aflame. We feel ejected from the game. Still astonished that we won, we speed to beat the rising sun. Safe at home, we settle in and talk about our thrilling win, till one by one we slide away and silently relive each play. In our dreams, that perfect green, our refuge from the drab routine of headlong flutter, flurried flight, until another baseball night, until again we hear the call. Welcome, fans, and now, play ball. The end. Well, whew, my emotions have been through it. It's just like being at a real baseball game. You get so excited, you get so sad, you get so worried, and then sometimes you get the elation that comes with your team winning. Well, we got that today. I mean, if you were rooting for the same team I was, maybe you were rooting for the other team, the team that always wins, but I was rooting for the underdog and that's who won this maybe you'd call it an under bat i don't know what do you think about that um another thing you probably noticed about this book bats at the ball game is that it rhymed it was a poem and i gotta be honest this is some of the nicest poetry i think we've ever read together i also want to say guys these are some of the most beautiful beautiful pictures that we've ever seen together in fact so there's there's one i, I I noticed, I don't know if you guys saw it, but we're gonna take another quick look at it. Cause I just gotta say, this particular bat playing the tuba, like, I want that guy to be my best friend. He, or she, I guess could be a she tuba player. Um, they look like the best. They got the big long ears and a little fuzzy thing under their throat. That's super cool. Um, guys, thank you so much. Thanks for coming with me. Thanks for doing our wonderful, weird, Haldron Collider experiment together and finding out what happens when you combine bats and baseball. You get bats at the ball game. Thank you. Did you love this book? I love this book. It's one of my favorites. And maybe you're going to tell me what your favorite book is. So I'll read it on Storytime with Mr. Michael. Um, if not, don't worry. I got a lot of books. I got a lot of books. You guys know that. Um, and we're going to read something next time. So I'll see you then on Storytime with Mr. Michael. Bye, everybody. Ooh.